Hello and welcome back to the floor of NAB AES 2023 here with John Kowalski from Wizicom. Thanks for being here. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, but <laughs> in, a, in Javits, in New York City on a beautiful day outside, I can see blue sky and sun. It is a beautiful so day. So happy to be here. The leaves are changing. <laughs> uh, all right, so what is what are you featuring at the show today? Uh, the the uh, our, um, We're featuring our, our the products we're getting the most calls on. Uh -huh. And that would be our, our BFL RF over fiber throwdown interface mm -hmm. and our distribution products. Um, not far behind our wireless mics, the MTP61. Uh, and the, but the BFL is the phone, uh, the, the calls from the market are, are every day. It's a great tool to have in your kit. Mm -hmm. Allows you to extend coverage over fiber instead of heavy uh, coax runs where you have cable loss. It's a very useful box with filtering and just enough, the tools that will make your wireless, whether it's WYSICOM or the other guys, make it work better and support their production. So the BFL uh, interfaces are, are the bomb. Everything we expected and beyond. And it's uh, sh uses in market and broadcast, in production, and live touring, all of the markets where, where we support products and usage in. Yeah, it really does seem like there's been a bit of a fiber explosion uh, in the last few months where we've seen more production mixers using it. We've had racetracks call us. We've had a whole bunch of other the, people the interested. Voodoo, the voodoo over fiber, the, the, the mystique over fiber is, is kind of uh, dis dissipating. Mm -hmm. It's simple to use. There's a, it's just some core principles. We're happy to talk users through on the phone. Mm -hmm. Once they've got that, they 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 don't look back. We yeah. don't we don't take a lot of follow up calls on tech support on fiber, but everyone kind of gets hesitant because they've never used it right. before. Yeah, and this is reasonably simple. So this is is basically a uh, it's a BFL. Yeah. Um, right. So BFL, same same as like the well, LF you, filter. You've got your input mm -hmm. or output connector depending mm -hmm. on what you are. There's a yeah. transmit and receive. Mm -hmm. And the thing I, I always tell myself, the transmit, the BFL-T is closest to the transmitter. Mm -hmm. The BFL-R is closest to the receive. Right. Mm -hmm. So this would go out, this is the receive. This would go out into a receiver if we were linking it over there. We've got single mode ACP, SC ACP mm -hmm. fiber on the on the fiber connection, the cable that you can source in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. There is a Bluetooth antenna. There is a Bluetooth app that uh, our the Wizicom app can control this, but the front panel menu has the controls also uh, for mm -hmm. your use as well. You do get the 12 volt power supply with it, mm -hmm. but it can be powered externally by a, a 12 volt supply. Mm -hmm. Um, so it could be mounted in a, in a, a, a NEMA enclosure or a Pelican case on a racetrack mm -hmm. as a throwdown interface with a, a battery supply for uh, coverage during the day. Yep. Um, it does have some of the filtering that you'll find in our, our very popular BFA. That's it. And uh -huh. uh, so we do have the filtering available on it. And it can be, it can be uh, the uh, transmit can provide bias power for active antennas mm -hmm. so you can have an active antenna with filtering some filtering in the bfl you can cross those over and have double filtered in your cover mm -hmm. in your wireless zone um, a little advanced uh, application there but it's quite a useful uh, application so that you've got transmit and receive you got the ability to bias power the uh, the receive antennas um, it can be used for remoting the transmit of a IFB, um, but as we, as you know, when you put a transmit signal uh, into it, it cannot be over zero dB. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a, uh, we have to pad down if it's our competitors' IFB or IM systems, we have to pad those down to zero dB. And at the remote side, we make a box. Uh, the PAW, right. which would amplify, reamplify that signal back to the 100 milliwatt signal mm -hmm. that it would be. So the BFL can be used. Primary application is receive, cover, extending receive coverage over fiber. Secondary application to would be to remote the transmits of it. One thing to note: there is a, a receive version of this uh, available for the MRK16. 
so it's mounted in the MRK16, and you only need to purchase the transmitters mm. to support extending your coverage of the MRK16 over fiber. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit less money, too. You're not paying for the magnesium case. And what is the the range that you could get with fiber? Like how long a fiber run could you do? Single mode fiber mm -hmm. uh, and, and by the specification can go up to 21 kilometers. Uh -huh. That's a pretty good throw uh, over fiber. That's a long way. Uh, yeah, but, but in, in practical applications, we're seeing people running fiber uh, 2,000, 3,000 feet mm -hmm. at, the, at the farthest range. I look forward to the customer that calls up and say, hey, we did it over 15 kilometers. But when you do raceways and you're doing a racetrack, mm -hmm. that can be uh, a you know 5k on that fiber run without sneezing. So you, that's it's not unthinkable that someone is doing that already. We just don't get those reports uh -huh. back. But if we're talking film production, episodic TV production, you're probably running a fiber cable, you know, 600 feet. That's a 600 foot cable can fit in a small pouch of fiber optic cable. 600 feet of coax, you're going to need a dolly. Yeah. And it's going to take two guys to run that out. And you're going to have cable loss. And you're going to have to reamplify. You get it, folks. Uh, a BFL is a great tool to have. It's a really interesting uh, use case because, you know, people are always like, oh, I don't want to bring my cart inside because it's, you know, it's too big or it doesn't fit. But, like, with that much r antenna run available, you don't even need a cart. You could just have a car. Yeah, and run, you know, transmit and receive antennas into a house. And I mean, conceivably, if you wanted to run it up a skyscraper, you could, which that's insane. Well, th that's actually, uh, let's not talk about uh, out uh -huh. th that's an application. We've done drawings on uh -huh. the for in, in the city here for, for building coverage. But as, as we talk about this, we're, we move over to our next more po more, most popular product mm -hmm. at the moment. And that's, it's a product many of you know, it's the MAT. Um, antenna matrix. The MAT244 and the four zone and the MAT288 eight zone matrix, uh, these boxes are flying off the shelf mm -hmm. because reality TV, uh, game shows, uh, uh, the ninja type shows uh -huh. where they need coverage over longer areas, the MAT is that box where you can distribute, have multi zone coverage into your rack, into your cart, and you can use BFLs to extend zones over fiber. Mm. So you might have two or three zones that are under 50 feet or 100 feet, mm -hmm. different rooms in a, for a production, but then you have the farther reaches where you have BFLs and you've got BFLs tied into the MAT. MATs are, as you, you know, we've, that we're, it's a great day when someone calls up, do you have one and we have it. Yeah. They're, they're just, they're coming in, they're going right out. Yep. So yeah, we have one in stock right now. We just got it yesterday, I think. So call Gotham, <laughs> MATs on and, the shelf. And I've used this. Uh, I use this every time I go in the field for um, housewife reunions. Yep. And just the multi-zone, how easy it is to dial in the gain, you and know, how easy it is to turn on and off the zones. You can it's buy really power off of it. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a useful box, a good tool to have and suits uh, pays for itself uh, the first time you don't have to reset for better coverage. Yeah, yeah, so. for sure. And um, other than uh, beyond all that, as uh, many of the users might be, maybe they're dropping in questions. Uh, well, we haven't given you the Jeopardy categories, the WYSICOM uh -huh. Jeopardy categories yet, but we'll take questions on anything. But the MAT61, which we've been promoting for uh, uh, months now, is eminently uh, uh, arriving soon. Um, we've uh, that we keep getting threats of uh, the we did field testing. We've had some updates uh, be, uh, through that field mm -hmm. testing, and we are uh, within uh, I want to say uh, weeks of this out in production mm -hmm. and usage. And uh, we're excited about it. Uh, I I sorry that we've uh, we haven't been able to get them out sooner, but uh, they are coming. Right, and, and you know better to. Get it right the first time, then do a recall. Yeah. The other thing I want to highlight in terms of what is now shipping uh, is the new MTK 982. Yeah. Uh, because we we just got our f second shipment of those, and that had been back ordered for a little while as well. Yeah. So I just want to highlight that because that was 
a hole for a little while when the 952 is retired, the 982 is coming out, yeah. now it's here. And I like the improvements in the 982 mm -hmm. because it, it, we, as you know, WYSICOM, we have the ability to forward power into a passive uh, combiner so that we can provide a very solid, stable, clean mm -hmm. output, 100 milliwatt output for multiple transmitters in a mm -hmm. combiner. But that being said, this com transmitter also has a secondary output mm. that is zero dB that allows us to distribute IFBs or IEMs over fiber mm. and have a local connected antenna for the local coverage. Oh. And this is uh, allowing our, our top performers that are doing stadium shows to have staged coverage and have a fiber link for their fi remote coverage on the walkway or a uh, drop stage or, uh -huh. or a pop-up stage in or there. Whatever, yeah. But in the IFB for broadcast and, and, and those requirements where you have extended coverage and uh, t multiple studios, weather decks and, mm -hmm. and roof roof uh, shooting areas, shooting spaces, the IEM, the MTK, MTK 982 can give you that solid coverage in the studio and then fiber links through a BFL mm -hmm. or the MFL to remote uh, the coverage in that. The, uh, the 982 is, uh, is I, I don't want to use the cliches, but it's, it has the upgrades and the improvements that we had to bring to the market from the 952. Mm -hmm. The menuing is more streamlined. Mm -hmm. There's better qu quick button access. There's the improvement of the, the connection to the uh, secondary output. Um, it's a great box. Um, but uh, don't ask me what that button does. We we haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> it doesn't have a label. I no. I am kidding. It's self a joke. destruct. No, great. No, no, don't. <laughs> well, it's thirty. It's thirty better than the than the nine fifty two. So yes. that's uh, that's all we need to know. Yeah. All right. Well, look. I think you're off the hook easy. All right. Um, so Yay. thank you for being here with us. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more from AES NYC twenty twenty three.